Yeah, we've got a mobile. No, that's a long one too. So yeah, this is going to take us up to Tukumkari. I don't know if that's how you say that. But let's get going. Time to hit the road. Trailer is ready. Let's go grab that. Where is that trailer at? Uh, Mikey Gibson, someone else in the cab. Yeah, man, we got the wifey. Got the wifey, man. She's along for the ride, but like I said, she doesn't talk much, isn't that right, wifey? Yeah, she's not too happy that I had to take her along for the truck ride. You know, she just sits on her phone now all day. But she is modding the comments, so she's just making sure we don't have any trolls in the house. Here we are, there's that milling machine we're taking. Simfue Fiwe, hello to you as well. Good to see you again, man. We got Owen Madua, hello. Shout out, thanks for being a follower, brother. Simfue, my favorite truck, man. Same, man. I'd have to argue, I'd have to, I have to agree with you. It is. I have such a good time driving this truck, man. Everything about it, it satisfies me in all ways. It probably sounds pretty wrong, but yes. There we go. Let's hitch that bad boy up. There's that milling machine. Hold on a second. There's a, a long load, oversized load. But again, we don't have a... Uh, what I like about this is we don't have our police typical special transport escort for this. We don't need it anyway, so... That's good. Let's get going. It's 9.25 a.m. here in New Mexico. Let's get going. This truck has the oomph for this, uh, for this kind of load. It is designed for these heavy loads. We got our uh, red flags at the front, in the back. All right, should be fun. Let's go. Uh, Genesis, yes, man. I was like maybe like one minute late today, but yes, we've started today, and um, and we've got our schedule posted for the next uh, for the rest of the week, and it should be the same for next week as well. Like I say, just uh, bear with me. It might be a little flexible. While we, um, hold on a second, let me just make sure I don't scrape this way out. There we go, sorted. Uh, but yeah, but it should be about the same next week as well, man. Like I say, it's going to be one, one daytime stream and one uh, late night stream. Uh, during the weekdays. And I may do a one stream on like a Saturday depending on like family commitments but I'm gonna try and maintain some time off as well to rest up <laughs> JP Victor do you play multiplayer sometimes you know not a lot man honestly uh, last time I played multiplayer it wasn't working with the new 1.38 version uh, does anyone know has it been updated has truckers MP been updated to work with uh, the new version of ATS yet because that was my only issue last time and I was tired of kept like downgrading the game and all that stuff kept messing up my mods so no, uh, long story short, I, I have not been playing a lot of multiplayer for that for that reason. That uh, Trucker's MP was not compatible with the new version. Alright. Make sure you have that 1080p option selected on your phones or your computer, wherever you're watching. If it's on your computer, you probably default 1080p, but sometimes on your phone, you've got to select that 1080p option to get that best quality. Oh, I just love the drone of this engine. I feel tugged with hot melted butter and Marmite on toast for breakfast, man. You're getting me hungry, brother. I may have to make that as a snack for myself after I finish up this stream. This is going to be a three hour stream for you all, so we're about halfway through right now. We're going to end it at about 1 a.m. Pacific. Man, anyone else like hot melted butter on toast with Marmite? Uh, Benice, Sarai, Mendez, we are both watching our little boy as our little before. So, oh, that's cute. Glad you guys, that really is touching. You guys all enjoy that. That's what I do this for. Love it. Really, uh, really touching. Thanks for sharing. Um, 
Simfiwe exhaust, yes, absolutely. So it is such a raw sound. It's a cat engine in here. Sorry, cat 725 horsepower engine. I can't remember the exact uh, exact model of it. Jake Gavin, do you use military cargo pack? I haven't. Is that that's a mod, right? Good shout, man. I, to, I need to do that. I think I've seen some people they're like moving some tanks and stuff. Actually, is that is that what you're referring to, man? Yeah. I, if so, I need to do that. Good shout. Man. Hey, Genesis, yeah, I'm having to drive responsibly. You know, she she doesn't like it when I drive too crazy. But like I say. Stays to herself pretty much all the time. Stays on her phone. Facebook these days so addicting, right? All you do is just stay on your phone, flick on Facebook, and watch streams. <laughs> My wheels, but anyone watch Black Mirror on Netflix? There's a few good episodes about social media apps on Black Mirror. Highly recommend watching Black Mirror on Netflix uh, if you haven't watched it already. One of the best series out there. It has a few episodes about that, you know, people's addictions to phones and stuff. It's pretty interesting. Jack Gavin, is Track IR Pro worth it? Um, I'd personally say so. Without, I would not play without it. There's only one other option, as far as I'm aware. It's called like the uh, Delon Clip or something, Jake. Oops. It's called like the Delon Clip or something. And someone, I think it's in England or somewhere in Europe. Uh, uses an old PlayStation 3 camera and they make like a kind of a, a makeshift a makeshift one for you it's about half the price I think well, well it's actually less than that it's about like a third of the price of the track IR but it's not going to be as good quality and it doesn't use the it uses actually the same software that the track IR does they basically just hijack the software for their own need um, but I honestly think this this is better because it comes with like a headphone clip as well so you can wear it in two ways I have the pro version so one comes with the hat clip but for that you have to wear a hat every time you play uh, or you can use this one which has the headphone clip and I'm sure you might be able to see it hanging off the side of my head here it's like a like this antenna type thing and that is and then there's like a, a camera thing I've got an infrared camera up there which is tracking my head movements so without it, honestly, I would not play this uh, simulator. It makes it so much more immersive, uh, especially also with flight simulator as well. It's awesome. So yes, I do recommend it. Do recommend it. JP, okay, you got it working. Oh, you had to downgrade. Yeah, I don't know why they're not like. Why is it taking them so long to uh, update it to the 1.38? been like over a month since they released that update and yeah like you said there wasn't too many people playing either and I don't like the fact that there's no like real traffic it just gets a little stale after a while playing online unless you're playing with a few people like cruising together they're apparently going through the New Mexico desert with this milling machine Make sure we got our map here so we don't uh, crash into it. Oh. Get a few front shots. No one in front of us, right? Nope. Okay, we're good. We can take some selfies, hopefully, safely. Driving backwards, no trick. Love this. Look at it. I blacked it out today. I've had this in school bus yellow and like a cobalt blue as well. There's the sound of Jake. For those of you interested in that. The 
Andrew Johnson, no, that's the wife, man. Andrew, that's the wife. I guess it could be my daughter too. I mean, she looks kind of young. <laughs> what are you saying? Am I, do I look that old, Andrew? She's my daughter, man. That's my wife. <laughs> but she's the same, man. She's phone always in hand. <laughs> uh, Genesis, yes, nice boxy truck, man. You know I'm a fan of the cab overs. Zaza did great. Yes, I have the whole three pedals down there. Uh, you might be able to catch a little bit of it in the lower left corner of the screen there. But we do have the clutch, brake, and accelerator. Definitely. Comes with this wheel, the Logitech G29. When you buy this, it comes as one set. It comes with the pedals and the, uh, and the, uh, the steering wheel, of course. But the shifter you have to buy separately. That's like $60, $50, like $60. I can say the knob. 3D printed. Glenn, oh, sorry, I'm trying to read the comments. Glenn New Newman, what's going on? Thanks for being a follower as well. Simfway, we have 18 gears on this thing. Uh, you can see on the bottom of the screen, it might be a little small. But we're at 8H right now. Not really able to use it to be honest. This is quite a heavy load. Really having to stay kind of 17th gear here. But yeah, there's 8 gears and you split that in a high and low. That gives you 16 gears. And then you also got your crawler gears as well. So that's where the 18 comes from, man. Okay, we're going to have to make a little wide turn here. Ooh. free so far trying to get this milling machine delivered scratch free to the customer we do offer the scratch free guarantee on the Cody Night channel if we get a scratch on the trailer they don't pay us full refund full refund offer JB Victor true that true that man that probably is true yeah it gets boring few players no uh, no AI traffic either I hear you man that's why I haven't really got back into it. Uh, shout out to you, Daniel Scarbelloni. Yeah, Zaza did great. The head tracker definitely makes it like you know way more immersive because you can look in the mirrors, right? You can look in the mirrors as I turn my head. Uh, it definitely makes it a lot better. If you don't have the head tracker, your view is just like cemented straight right it's not as it's not as immersive personally it's one step like under vr you know you can actually play this game in vr as well uh but then i wouldn't be able to engage with all, all you guys comments and everything so oh we need some fuel shoot our uh, light is red here do we have any fuel stations coming up we do we do okay didn't realize we needed fuel here we may run out. Yeah, we would run out. Our oh, red light is on. Hold on. Let's do. Yeah, we'll Hopefully, we'll make it. Fun. Michael Schneider. Yeah, it's addicting. It is addicting. I'm not a real truck driver in real life, but I, I, I just get a kick out of the simulation of it. Yeah. Yeah, the details of the setup are in the description of the video for anyone interested in what I'm using. Um, and also you can go to the About Me section of the page and check there as well. Take those turns wide with this bad boy. JP Victor says, love the sound of the truck. Same man. It's one of the best sounding trucks in my opinion. I need to make it a fuel station.
build Tugwood if I didn't stream when I play as much. Um, ATS, probably I would, but probably not as much. Definitely not, no. I'd probably only do it maybe like, maybe like a quick hour session here and there, you know what I mean, Phil? But, you know, it makes it so much more fun engaging with the community on the chat, um, you know, having fun with you all, so definitely. Probably not. Like, if I was playing by myself, games that I play by myself, which I don't actually anymore, I don't have time for them. Uh, but I used to be into, like, Call of Duty a lot, you know. I used to play a lot of first-person shooter games online. Keep right. Hold on. And then turn right. Turn right? Oh, yeah, we went to the fuel station, that's right. I got confused here, myself. Turn right. Oh. Oh. I'll scrape this trailer on the way in here. Stop at the Chevron. Chevron with Tecron. Oh, did I go on the wrong side of the fuel station? How do I go to the other side of it? What is this? Did I really go on the wrong side? I can't even cross over there. This fuel station is closed for some reason. Okay. Should I just like, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, okay, well, I guess we're going to exit out of here. That's weird. Took one exit too early. No idea why they have this fuel station here and it's not even, uh, it's not even open. Turn right and then keep right. Okay, just turn in this one. It's like two chevrons together. It's like one chevron right next to it and I've got another chevron right there. Fuel up, fuel up here. Let's put our parking brake on. Get this bad boy fueled up. Uh, Spin Cop Peters, good morning. Just woke up, well, good morning to you. Uh, Jack Gavin's a track IR clip is good. It is, but the only thing is you've got to wear the hat all the time, right, Jack? That, so that comes with like a clip. I don't have it here to show you right now. Uh, but it clips onto a cap. So you've got to wear a hat all the time. Otherwise, if you play, pay that extra 30 bucks or whatever, it comes with this USB... Uh, headphone clip and it has like three infrared lights on it so that is the alternative method so you don't have to wear a cap all the time let's roll our windows down a bit more start this bad boy up for those of you just joining us here we are transporting this almost 100 ton milling machine to its destination in Tucumcari, I don't know if that's how you say it properly, but Tucumcari, New Mexico. On our way from Roswell. Didn't see any aliens, unfortunately. Jack Gavin, what graphics mods do I use? I'm using. Uh, oh! What was that? That's weird. Huh, maybe I scrubbed it a little bit. Let's not tell our customer about that, otherwise we're going to have to fork out for the no scratch refund guarantee. Let's uh, try not to mention that one. Interesting, some of these jobs need uh, special transport, so I don't know what the rhyme or rhythm is why this one doesn't. Currently 12.43pm here, lunchtime in the game. Let's get back on the road. Shehan Dilushanka, hello. Turn right. uh, Bernice, Black Mirror. Black Mirror. Highly, highly, highly recommend that. Let me know if we've got any other Black Mirror fans in the house. Each episode is self contained. It's like a one. one each episode is like a self contained story, like a one hour episode. And Black Mirror is all about 
it's like it shows like the future uh, where there's like some kind of technology but like the dark side of it and the dark side of humanity using it. it's really weird I don't want to explain it. I don't want to give you spoilers but it's really good it's one of the best series I've ever seen on Netflix highly recommend it Black Mirror definitely get it get that going uh, with Wilbur you'll enjoy it Pino uh, Kule yo bro I'm doing well brother Welcome, up, join the stream, South Africa, Durban, well, welcome man, welcome, whoops, what happened there, uh, Turok Tibor, thank you for that share, and I don't know if you heard that when you shared that, he said, I am Turok, coincidence, I think not, what a coincidence, we got, we got Turok in the house, an actual person with the name of Turok, big fan of the Turok video game and comic franchise. So. Welcome to the 92 viewers of the house. Thank you for hanging around here on this channel. If you're enjoying the stream, do hit that like button and the follow button. Hit that bell icon. Get a notification when we go live. I welcome you to join the community community here. Great bunch of people. We'd we'll love to have you all on board. Each of those likes and follows goes a really, really long way in helping support the channel as well. So thank you very much for hanging around. Say hello in the comments for a shout out. Let us know where you are tuning in from, what's the time where you are. It is currently almost 11.55 p.m. here in California, Tuesday evening. We will be live again in, well, in 12 hours actually. In 12 hours we'll be live again. We'll be live again going at 11 a.m. Pacific time to 1 p.m. So if you are just catching up the stream now, join us. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I need to put my foot down on there. Oh, stalled the engine too, but we, whew, we stopped it. We stopped it. I wasn't paying attention there. I didn't have my engine brake on. I didn't have the right gear in. We stopped it. We stopped it. Really had to put my foot on the brake there. I am Pura. Uh, we got Jack Gavin. Oh yeah, I told you what graphics were. Well, you Victor, is it late there already? Yeah, it's late, almost midnight, man. We're going till 1 a.m. tonight, though. So we still got about an hour to go. Still got about an hour to go. Pulling this giant milling machine here, almost 100 tons. Ooh, 100 tons. Almost done with this job, though. 15 miles to go. David Joseph, uh, what's going on, man? Good to see you. You started watching Black Mirror last night? Nice, man. Are you starting to watch them from the oldest episodes first? Uh, Tibor and Anaturo, thank you for that share. Appreciate you. Uh, Andrew Johnson, man, top fan. And thank you for those 100 stars, brother. Thank you so much for the support, man. You're doing well. Thank you for that share earlier as well. I think it was you. No, or, well, even if it wasn't you, thank you anyway. How's your setup going, man? Did you finish setting up? I think you shared, you sent me a picture of your setup, right? You shared your picture. You had like the bar next to it. How's that going, man? Sorry, I, t I, I don't know why I stopped there. I was confused. Let me know if we got any other Black Mirror fans in the house. I just finished all the episodes the other day, actually. I think there was like a few episodes left. I finally finished them all. Uh, I need to re-watch a couple of the earlier ones. I'd say the earlier episodes are probably the better ones. But they're all good. They're all good. They're fantastic. Uh, Thought-provoking. Thought-provoking. Yeah, Bernice, no worries. You'll enjoy it. I highly recommend it. Like, really. Jake Brakes, I'm said. Uh, Larry, yeah, 
we've got some Jake Craig going for you, man. This is 100 tons, so you feel it. This thing has 725 horsepower, still gets through. And still, still, it's a pleasure to drive, even pulling 100 tons behind it. For those of you just joining us, here is our International 9600. It's one of my favorite trucks. Gorgeous, gorgeous truck. With some Coyote Knight customizations. We got that chrome uh, wing on the top that gives us an extra 200 horsepower when we're at hot top speed. So, had to pay a pretty penny for that, uh, that wing there. Now, Daniel HK, I'm not sure actually. I think it's half half. I think it got like a half or some kind of like a line. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. Uh, Daniel, I feel Tugwood. Actually, you know, I'm not sure. Actually, I have no idea because I've not really done any scary games yet. So uh, you'll be the first to witness what my scream is like. Like I say, uh, it's not something I would do personally for, for my own pleasure is playing a horror game. But uh, hey, we're building this stream community here. So and you all have unanimously said you want me to scare my scare the crap, scare the crap out of my fans by playing one of these horror games. So I'm going to do it for the fans. I'm going to do it. I'm not gonna watch any of the players, like other players, play any of these scary games either. So I, don't, I won't know what's coming up. I don't want any, I don't want any like heads up or like you know, you know, I don't want to know what's coming ahead, right? I want it all to be a surprise. So I'm gonna stop watching other YouTubers play these scary games from now on, and I'm just gonna get the recommendations of which ones to play, and we're gonna get them. Otherwise, if I watch them play, I'll kind of have it like I'll know what's coming in a sense. Really, you guys are not going to take that? Maybe I'll see if I can jiggle it forward a little bit. You can't really reverse these, so... Unless you're like practically perfectly straight. Not a good idea. I may have failed this. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't really reverse these types of trailers. Oh, well, we'll take it like that. We'll take it. Boop. No one saw that. <laughs> uh, Jake Gavin said, well, graphics mod? Yeah, I don't think I'm using a graphics mod, man. Oh, wait, did I? Sorry, if I didn't answer that question, man. Uh, maybe I was an answering it and I forgot. Um, it is a uh, realistic weather mod. That's the only one I'm using, man. Um, no other graphics mods right now. In Euro Truck Simulator, I use Naturalux. That is the graphics mod I use there. I've got a harvester here as well. Ooh, that's a long job. Okay, let's see if they will show us any more jobs if we exit out and come back in here. Uh, JP Victor, South Africa 9A. Well, good morning to you. Let's see if there's any more jobs on the market. There we go. Yes. I don't know why that is. You got to exit out and come back in. Um, I'm not trying to go back.